Well, good morning. Good, morning. good morning. good to see each of you here today. Uh, it's exciting to see this many people involved in the party. I haven't seen this much excitement and involvement in, in several years. So, uh, involvement gets things done. So, thank you for being here. Most of you may know me, a lot may, because I have served three terms as a county commissioner. But for those of those, for those that do not know me, I'd like to give you a brief background. My name is Walter Petty. Chatham County has always been my home. My wife and I have raised our family here, and we are our fourth, we are the fourth generation on the family farm. I am committed to making Chatham County and this district a place where people want to live, raise their families, enjoy the retirement, and thrive. I have and will continue to apply the same common sense approach in government leadership at the state level as I have with my business and I did as a county commissioner. I'm the only Republican to ever be re elected three terms in 250 year history of Chatham County. <laughs> in light of being heavily outnumbered in the Democratic registered voters. I have a proven track record that I can get things done. I get results, I keep my promises then, and I will keep them now. During those years under my leadership, we did what most told us could not be done. In fact, they said it was impossible. We increased support for our schools, public safety, environmental protection, all without raising property taxes for six years straight. <laughs> we streamlined our government to make it easier to open and operate business. All this was done while at the same time achieving a AAA bond rating for the county, saving thousands and thousands of dollars for the citizens. We were able to get both the first and the second certified industrial mega site in North Carolina. The opportunity to bring jobs, high paying jobs, and better paying jobs, and opportunity for people to keep their families at home and raise them here. There's a lot more to be done. Most of it has to be done at the state level. So let me point out to you. For the past decade, we have not received the same support from the state as other areas in many ways. We've not received the same economic development support. We have not received the same level of per capita funding on, uh, from COVID relief. We've not gotten support for high speed internet for a very rural county that can't, you know, kids can't go to school in rural areas because they can't connect to the internet in the COVID days. It's time we have a seat at the table, and I think I'm the man to get it done. It, it's going to take more than just conservative ideas and precedents. We need a win, and we need it in November. When it comes to the primary, I hope you will choose the one that can get us across the finish line. I'm committed to run this office back in November. Since that time, and I've decided to take that task on, and winning this seat is my first uh, step to accomplish the goals that we need in our, in our district. And since that time, and for the 12 years that I've served as county commissioner, I've built relationships across the county. I plan to lever the, leverage those relationships to get these things done. I've also been meeting with leadership in, in legislature to develop a path to accomplish our goals from day one. We've developed a winning strategy. We have a good ground, 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 ground game uh, going and building. We are implementing 21st century tools of old fashioned coalition building and hard work. And that's what it'll take to win this race. We've got a strong uh, representative right now. He's currently the, um, the minority house leader and he's gonna put up a fight, but I think we're up to it. I haven't even touched on his, his voting record or a lot of our freedoms that are under attack, but a lot of it's been covered today. If you, win, if you get me in that seat, I'm one of the seats that it will take to win the super majority at the House. We can stop the veto power that our governor is using, that our, our, our governor is using currently. 
I'm ready to hit the ground running, and I won't stop. I'm Walter Petty. I'm asking for your vote. Please remember one thing. The world is run by those that show up. Thank you for being here today.